From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Hogan. The search continues tonight for a missing woman from South Windsor. 30-year-old Jessica Edwards went missing on Monday. Last night, South Windsor police called her disappearance suspicious. Investigators say they've spent the week visiting the condo that Edwards shared with her new husband and their seven-month-old. The department telling Eyewitness News on Friday night's search wasn't the result of any specific information, but based on intel that was already collected. A timeline shows Edwards last saw her family on Mother's Day. Police say her husband last saw his wife Monday morning when she got into an unknown car. A Glastonbury police officer was injured and taken to the hospital this afternoon after a vehicle crashed into a police cruiser. The crash occurring on Route 3 Maple Street at Elm, right near the Putnam Bridge in Weathersfield. Police indicate that the officer was turning around following an incident nearby when he was hit. The driver of the car was also taken to the hospital. Crews were on the scene of a two-alarm fire in East Lyme earlier today. This is a look from overhead. You can see just how devastating that fire was. It broke out at the Atlantic Building Supply Company on Boston Post Road in the Flanders section of town. Mutual aid was called in from several towns. Fortunately, no one was hurt. No word yet on what caused the fire. Moving on to Middlefield now, take a look. This is some frightening video. Firefighters had to battle a house fire overnight. This was the scene on Way Road. First responders had to wait until Eversource turned off the power before they could safely put out the flames. A neighbor is credited now with getting the three residents out safely. Firefighters rescued six pet cats inside. The cause is under investigation. All right, our weekend got off to a fantastic start with temperatures between 75 and 80. Sunday is going to be a little bit cooler, but still mild with highs in the 70s. Uh, we will see a mix of sun and clouds, and there will be a chance for an afternoon shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder in some locations. So 70s for inland areas uh, for your Sunday. And then uh, for the shoreline, we'll start out in the 50s Sunday and make our way up to uh, 70, maybe even the low 70s before showers threaten during the course of the afternoon. Monday will be in the 70s again. A chance for an afternoon shower, then temperatures really take off 75 to 80 Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A taste of summer with highs in the 80s.